We've done episodes recently about female Bigfoot's backsides. Amen. But what really got my attention recently is there's some guy in the Bigfoot community offering a thousand bucks to anybody that has a photo of Bigfoot. Everybody's into female Bigfoot. Baby's looking good. Now who wouldn't pay that kind of money? So you think this guy wants some kind of private collection of female Bigfoot photos? I mean, the guy's like looking for Picassos, but his are female Bigfoot. And what's he gonna do with them once he gets them? Are you kidding me? There's money to be made with Bigfoot photos. Every time you turn around, there's a new reality show featuring who? Bigfoot. And how's he gonna discern whether the photo's real or not? Well, I think more importantly, what he's going up against here is, uh, you know, that what they call the Craigslist syndrome. You know, people get injured. Things go on. You don't know who you're, you don't know who you're dealing with. You're bringing cold, hard cash. That could be problems. You're going to a very remote area with an, a wad of a thousand dollars on you. I don't think that's smart. And Leatherface is the least of what you could run into. Sadistic Nazi drifters on an LSD torture killing rampage. Rogue ex-convict chimps ripping off your face and genitals. Crystal meth thrill killing snuff filmmakers force you to star in their summer blockbuster. Seductive gang of topless college miniskirt nymphos imposing hot oil massages. What's wrong with that? This is not the way to go. Stay away from crazy people's houses. Get out in the field where all you have to deal with is bears, mountain lions, and rabid wolves. Or better yet, stay in your car where it's safe.